wanted to say a few words to you. I know, I know a lot of you know, know the campus, this campus, and love it. Uh, but I also wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, UNM, the relationship with, it, with the different uh, branches, and so on and so forth. As you know, the University of New Mexico is, is a large bureaucracy, large, large, large the home team, and, and uh, we're not doing that well right now in basketball even, so you know, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna get the, uh, uh, you know, place for that. But, but uh, the, the bottom line is we're about, we're, about, we're almost $3 billion, you know, we're huge. We're, we're equivalent to one of the labs, to Los Alamos or San Diego. Uh, most of that is actually the health sciences. Most of that is the hospital and, and the uh, medical school and the nursing school and, and the college of pharmacy, about 1.8, 1.9, almost of that. The rest of it is the so-called main campus, and, and the branches are actually uh, part, or they, they, you know, they right now report to uh, the provost office, I mean, Craig's, uh, to to the main campus. Now, uh, the branches are, you know, they each 100 and 200 level, as you know, but in particular at Los Alamos, we see a great opportunity, and hopefully these two gentlemen in place, we will, uh, we will uh, rekindle or, or, or strengthen uh, the offerings to both uh, finish undergraduate degrees. Uh, we did a survey last year, actually a year before, maybe, maybe a couple of years ago. That's and it was, it, was, uh, it was done by students in the MBA program, they did a project where they did a survey to figure out exactly what, what is the demand for degrees or programs on, uh, at, in, in, in Los Alamos, in the, in the city, the county, the, and it turns out, uh, no surprises there, you know, engineering, technician, and, and business. So uh, we, 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 we are actually trying to implement on that, and we will be uh, talking more seriously about what, what programs exactly we can have to complete. And, and the reason for that, you know, in particular about Los Alamos, rather than, uh, you know, the other branches in Galo, Valencia, and, and, uh, and Taos, is of course the national labs, you know, that are, that are a resource, and, and that we draw upon for both for uh, students who want to further their careers or further their studies, but also uh, because they have the professors. I mean, one of the issues we, you know, when I first came into to UNM in 1988, we used to fly in here. We had, you know, we used to deliver some courses on weekends and so on. We used to take a small plane and sometimes, you know, we just never, never made it, you know, go back or something. <laughs> uh, right now, we don't need to do that for two reasons. One is uh, uh, we have we have technology that that can that can provide. Uh, the uh, instruction one way, you know, they're using the Zoom technology, but also the other way, which is why I'm excited about this. I think it would work really well. I think last summer we had a, we had a course, a math course, which we tried actually to have students register also from, from main campus or, or elsewhere. It doesn't have to be just on your end because you do have the, the capabilities to do that. And, and what, we, what we're trying to do again, you know, with the help of, these, uh, of the School of Engineering and, and the School of uh, the Anderson School of Management is to try to put a robust offering in place that we can offer every semester or you know throughout. So that's that's one issue is, is regarding this. The other issue is, is you know that there, there's sometimes confusion about well why doesn't UNM pay for this or make campus? Well first of all because we don't have money. But second of all <laughs> is because the next thing the most important thing is that the branches are actually their budget is totally separate, totally independent from our budget. As you know, uh, you know they get some state allocation. Uh, they also get um, you know, the mid level, which is, I think, why I hope so many of you will go out tonight and, and, and help spread the word that how the good that it's doing, and tuition. And then they've been doing a lot of contracts. They've been getting a lot of contracts to help support this. So, so they could start a lab, or they could start a program uh, using these contracts, which have been very successful in the last few years, you know, at, at, uh, at uh, getting. But then we need to transition from that because those contracts from the federal government or from the agencies or from foundations. You know, they will support it for three, four, five years, and then after that, we need to take it off. And if it's a program worth initiating, it's a program which will be worth uh, continuing, and, and we need to do that. So, so uh, uh, unfortunately, we have the, you know, the state representative in here. This is not a complaint, but this is a fact. <laughs> the state has not been able to keep up with the cost of higher education. I mean, this is a fact. You know, we can't. You know, and again, it's it's because there are a lot of demands on the state budget. If you look at the budget. Of UNMLA or the budget of UNM or any of the state schools or the University of Illinois, you know, you will see that the proportion that's paid for by the state has been going down. The amount is going up. The amount is every year, you know, people will say, well, we'll give you two million more. 
well, our costs are going up much faster. And for a while, we had a lot of increase in enrollment, as is happening at Los Alamos still. They're having increase in enrollment, which is a problem I would love to have. <laughs> but uh, the bottom line is the portion that the state is supporting now went down to about 30% right now, or whatever it is, from the cost of delivering this education. Now, you know, we can elect representatives like our friend are here to try to help us with that, but also, I mean, the fact of the matter is that demands for the budget, there is not enough money to spread to get around. So, so we need to come up with these other, with the other funding sources. At UNM, you know, we don't have, at the main campus, we don't have any left. So what we're trying to do, and this is my discussions with the deans, is to try to generate revenues elsewhere. It could be from new uh, sources, such as we're doing a lot of online, we're doing a lot of things to try to get more uh, students that can, pay, but also to deliver in areas where today we're not in, we're not, we're not paying, including moves and online and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, the, you know, we need to, to generate private giving and so on and so forth. So that, that's really key, is that the fact that this is an independent, as far as, as, as you're concerned, as far as, far as she's concerned, uh, you know, we don't commingle, we don't send money down there, and we don't send money up here. So, so this is it's an important thing to keep in mind, is, is that serving the, Community in here and it's doing it on what the state gives you, what the tax, what the mid levy, what the tuition, and the contracts, and, and what else? So the four big ones, right? Donations, you know, private giving. Uh, last, I want to say a couple of words about, about in particular, Cindy and, and, and the work that, that's been going on in here and the many areas that, uh, that you guys are supporting, familiar with. When, when, uh, when Jerry initially suggested, when, when the position became vacant, uh, he suggested Cindy, and I had worked with her as a, as a dean of instruction, and I said, yeah, you know, seems like, you know, she'll be fine, you know, I didn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he said, no, no, you gotta, you gotta, you know, so, so we, we put her as an intern for a while, and then uh, I started hearing all of these good feedback from the board, uh, and from other people, and, and from the faculty, from others, and uh, by the time, uh, by, the, by, by the time, you know, the time came to, to start to make a decision whether we should search for a national search, and we decided, uh, based on everything, including the discussion with the board where I came up here, that uh, we don't want to waste our money. You know, we probably have the best candidate available in the nation right now. Uh, I think I think she has proven since then, uh, both in terms of uh, collaboration with the other branches and, and working. Uh, you know, she's your best advocate down there, uh, and and you know, I know I know that she's. Uh, she, uh, even when she's on vacation, you know, sometimes she's, she's calling to tell me about something that needs to happen or so on and so forth. So I think, I think you got a great, great leader. Uh, you know, we're searching for leaders at other, one of the other campuses right now. And, you know, I asked him to, to chair the search because I think, you know, she really understands, uh, you know, she's an advocate, she's a leader who can, who can inspire, she leads by example. Uh, and some of the things that she's been doing uh, have been to try to both, uh, watch the bottom line, but also to try to offer more to the, to the community. And I think that's the, that's the last thing I wanna say, is that, um, you know, this community here is, is uh, the most educated, you know, probably, you know, sometimes I hear in the US, I know it's the most educated in, in Mexico, I know that, and safe to say that. But, but uh, more importantly, I think, it is, is that this is, this is a place where, uh, uh, I, think, I think we, this, this campus, the UNMLA, uh, in my judgment, uh, has not been, uh, has not has not exploded or, or lived up to the full uh, potential. Mainly because of these interactions that I hope we can we can increase more with the, with the engineering and the, and the and the business school and so on. Not because we're not delivering on the first two years. I know that this is a place where you need more four-year degrees sometimes and graduate school, uh, as well as react very quickly to the demands, you know, when you had the fire from here and you know, you put the fire safely in it, you know, it would have taken us 10 years to, you know, we'll still be talking about that right now at main campus and you guys were able to do it rather quickly. So you're very responsive to the needs of the community, but, but also I think right now you have a partner with, with, with you, uh, you know, both when I go back as girls, you know, we'll continue that, but I hope that in these next six months or, 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 or before we will finish up uh, a lot of the, the groundwork in order to offer things but to make sure that things are on, on uh, uh, firm and, and uh, permanent uh, place at the top.